Rodenticides, home safety. Rodent poisons harm wildlife. Anticoagulant rodenticides, ARs, are killing non-target species at alarming rates. ARs are routinely dispensed at residences and businesses in the form of food bait to entice rodents and other animals to ingest poison. Secondary poisoning occurs when predators consume the ARs stored in the tissues of poison prey. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife found that over 80% of tested bobcats, foxes, coyotes, owls, and 95% of cougars were exposed. Over 70% of those cougars tested positive for over three distinct ARs, suggesting that there are often multiple point sources of exposure to poisons. Imperiled cougar populations cannot afford rodenticide casualties. Small, genetically isolated cougar populations in Southern California and the Central Coast became candidates for listing under the state's Endangered Species Act in 2020. Five cougars tracked by the Santa Monica National Park Service as part of a long-term study have died as a result of rodenticide exposure. Secondary poisoning of bobcats in the same region made their populations vulnerable to a parasitic disease epidemic that resulted in such drastic losses that several previously populated areas went without bobcats for years. Cougars are not as numerous as bobcats but are similarly susceptible to this negative outcome, thus increasing the odds of local extinction. Solve rodent problems without poison. Preventative measures designed to repel, exclude, and deter rodents that emphasize proper sanitation can and should replace the use of ARs under most circumstances. Repel. Repel unwanted rodent guests by planting aromatic species known to discourage rodent activity and applying non-toxic products yourself or with professional help. Exclude. Exclude rodents from any area that they could use as a hiding space by sealing all cracks and holes with copper mesh. Rodent exclusion specialists can assist. Deter. Deter rodents by removing anything that is known to attract them, such as pet food, fallen fruit, and yard debris. Always keep trash contained and secured. Consult this National Park Service checklist for rodent proofing your home. Embrace the role of wild predators. Healthy ecosystems control rodent populations naturally. Birds of prey such as owls and hawks and mammalian predators such as bobcats, foxes, coyotes, and cougars reduce rodent activity and abundance indirectly through their presence and directly through predation. Landscaping with native plants can encourage biodiversity. Cougars are ecologically important and help maintain balance within wildlife communities. The effects of their activity can even influence plants, amphibians, and butterflies. Consider installing an artificial raptor perch or an owl nest box. These structures recruit birds of prey for rodent control. These tools are employed around the world at residences and in agricultural settings as an alternative to using poisons. Join an education and community outreach organization. Grassroots activists are largely responsible for raising public concern over rodenticide threat to wildlife. Coalitions of nonprofit groups dedicated to teaching community members poison free pest control techniques and how to participate in the legislative process successfully campaigned for a moratorium on hypertoxic second generation ARs in California in 2020. In the meantime, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife will be conducting a comprehensive investigation of the impact of these chemicals on wild populations statewide.